Hello, this video is for those professionals looking to understand more about the use of the Zachman framework. In this session, we'll look at the concepts of reification and road transformation according to the six perspectives. My name is Cork Coghill. I'm the Director of Education Operations for the FIAC Institute. For more than a decade, FIAC staff have been educating industry professionals on how to leverage enterprise architecture to gain enterprise knowledge and strategic advantage in the marketplace. Zachman International owns FIAC, and as a result, I have the pleasure of working with John A. Zachman for the past several years. We focus on helping to educate industry professionals about the Zachman framework and how to use the power of enterprise ontology as a tool for classifying and organizing enterprise knowledge. Enterprises, as you know, are complex entities that are constantly changing. Your knowledge of the Zachman framework helps to provide you a more rounded perspective of enterprise interaction, especially between business and information technology professionals. Information technology is a ubiquitous part of just about any enterprise. We rely on it to help us do many things faster and more efficiently. However, a key element of successful information technology use is often overlooked in the rush to produce services and products. I am talking about coordination and collaboration. As a practicing enterprise architect, I have seen projects and businesses fail as a result of poor or absent coordination and collaboration, especially with project teams. I'd like to take a moment and extend your knowledge of the Zachman framework as a means of facilitating coordination and collaboration. The Zachman Framework version 3.0, as pictured behind me, contains a tremendous amount of information. I'm going to draw your attention to a couple of concepts in the framework and how they can be applied to project coordination. Let's first take a moment and talk to the concept of reification. Reification simply means taking something abstract and making it more explicit. Reification is effectively done in a stepwise fashion. In the Zachman Framework version 3.0, you can see the steps of reification on the right-hand side of the framework. For the framework, the six steps themselves are identification, definition, representation, specification, configuration, and implementation. Each step corresponds to an audience perspective on the left-hand side of the framework. Identification to the executive perspective, definition to the business management perspective, and so on. The utility of this concept is that the information about the enterprise is transformed to help facilitate understanding about the enterprise between the different perspectives. Uh, let me summarize it this way. The executive perspective is concerned with setting the scope context for what a particular enterprise will and will not do. This means they will define what inventories they will use, how they will use those inventories, where their networks connect and resources flow, who will be responsible for getting the work done, when it must be done, and why it needs to happen. These scope boundaries are transformed into business concepts. It's here that business strategies are defined. The business concepts, as defined in row two, are transformed into a single system representation of how data and records must flow to ensure consistency with the business concepts. The system representation is technology agnostic. This means that we have not made a decision about which technology be applied. We're focused on ensuring we know how our system must operate in order to be consistent with the business concepts. It's in row four we make decisions about technology physics. Here we decide about different technology to be used. This means the difference between the use of a filing cabinet or a database for storing records of transactions, for example. We may choose different technologies to implement the system logic. Each technology physics is then transformed again in row five to address specific tool configuration. Here we're looking at addressing specifics between different vendors or coding for the technology decisions made in row four. Finally, we implement our decisions. This is row six. This is the world as we know it today. This is the enterprise you and I operate in day to day. It is a messy world. However, 
if we've been consistent in our application of the concept of transformation and reification, we can trace our decisions up any column. This stepwise engineered approach allows us to more quickly identify where potential problems might occur, such as insufficient technology to address the system logic effectively. Or perhaps we have not captured our business requirements completely in row two, thus introducing risk about decisions and configuring our tools in row five. So what about project coordination? Well, let's say we have two particular groups of people within the enterprise. The first group of people, let's say, have strategic planning responsibility for information systems. We'll say they're concerned with rows one through three. If we follow the concept of reification and transform the scope identification list properly, they should produce a single system logic for the enterprise. Remember, choices about the technology have not been made. We're looking at the flow of data and records in support of the business concepts or requirements developed in row two. The second group of people in our enterprise are focused on delivering software services and products. We might be inclined to say they're concerned with the second three uh, framework rows, rows four through six. But I'd like you to consider a different thought. Our engineer and technician teams are generally focused on solving specific problems. There is a risk they can choose the wrong technology and develop the wrong code if they're not informed by the system requirements developed in row three. So for this reason, this team should actually be concerned with rows three through five. This way, the development efforts and technology selection is informed by the system logic which is built to support business concepts and requirements in row two. Having both teams working at row three, the architect's perspective helps to ensure clarity between project efforts. Both project teams are actually concerned with row six as well. This is where measurements will be taken as solutions are implemented. Project teams need to have a common understanding of the system logic in order to understand that the instantiation of row six bears any resemblance to business concepts and requirements established in row two. Thank you for the brief opportunity to talk to you. The Zachman Enterprise Ontology is a tool I've been using in my professional career for many years. The ability to classify knowledge about an enterprise is the key to managing complexity and change in today's environment. On behalf of Zachman International and FIAC Institute, thank you for your time and your interest.